everyone, Rick here with another feature improvement video. Today we're going to be going over how to utilize the filters on the Managed PM page. So you'll notice here on Managed PMs, we have a new option for filters. This is going to allow you to filter out your PM templates based on all different kinds of PM information. So let's take a look at how this works. If I select uh, the filter, I have all of these options, PM name, assets, assigned to, next to, on, holidays and seasons, along with schedules. So for the PM name, I can go ahead and search for uh, specific PM names. I can also search for assets that uh, PM templates are associated with. I can select by the assigned to. Now this is going to give me just the options that are available here. So it's not going to show me all of my technicians or all of my teams. It's only going to show the ones that are actually associated with a PM template. So I can say I want to filter by the copper sweats and see the PM templates that are associated with that team. I can look at the next due on. So if I have a date range and I want to say uh, within this date range, I can see the PM template that's going to be next due on within this range. I also have the option to filter by holidays and seasons. So again, this is just like the assigned to where it's only going to show me just the holidays or seasons that are associated with the PM template. It's not going to show you everything because that wouldn't give you any good results. So here I can see this PM schedule actually has a holiday uh, schedule associated with it called weekends. Same thing for my seasonal schedule. This one has uh, a, a PM season of spring. And then I can filter by all of my schedule options. So just like when you're creating a schedule for PM, here are all of the available options. We have daily, weekly, monthly numeric, monthly every weekday, yearly numeric, yearly ordinal, every X number of units, and threshold. So again, this is just what you are able to add here uh, when you are creating a schedule. So if I go ahead and I can say I want to see all my threshold PMs, every X number of units, every monthly numeric PMs, so on and so forth. So I hope this gives you some additional functionality that you were looking for and be sure to submit all your great ideas on our feature request board. Thanks for watching.